Hello guys, Mr. Fluffy Pants here, and today guys, I got another video, and today guys, we're reviewing Zombieland 2 Double Tap, which came out this year, and you know, this review's like about a month late pretty much, but you know what, it's good that I'm just reviewing it, but um, this is the sequel that comes out 10 years later after the original Zombieland, which I did do a review for that, so link in the description for the original Zombieland review I did, but you know, and with this movie coming out 10 years later, the plot also takes place 10 years later, which gives an interesting, you know, kind of... Uh, I guess, evol like ev evolution of it, I guess, but this is going to contain spoilers, so if you haven't seen it yet, uh, you know, you probably shouldn't watch this, but, um, like I said, it takes place 10 years later, and, you know, the beginning of the movie takes place with, uh, you know, they, uh, you know, Little Rock, uh, Wichita, um, uh, uh, Tallahassee and uh, Columbus all go to the White House and you know they live there for you know a pretty good little while until you know Little Rock uh, I mean she is 10 years older now so you know uh, she wants to you know go off on her own find her boyfriend and all so she and uh, in Wichita run away because you know they feel like they're getting too connected because uh, Columbus like proposes to Wichita and they end up leaving but it turns out whenever um uh, whenever they left, uh, Little Rock, uh, abandoned Wichita for this one guy, which, you know, and now she finally feels how Columbus and Tallahassee felt after, like, she'd done that three times with them, but, um, and why, uh, you know, Wichita's gone, because she comes back, like, a month later for, like, guns and stuff after, you know, Little Rock runs away, um, <clears throat> sorry, um, but, uh, you know, sh uh, Columbus meets a, like a, hit a new girlfriend at the mall or whatever. And, it's, you know, she's like a dumb blonde. Her name's Madison. Uh, you know, she, and to be honest, like to be like a dumb blonde character, she's actually pretty enjoyable in the movie, which, you know, usually they're kind of annoying, but I will say the way that uh, the actor plays her is just really, you know, uh, is, you know, it's actually pretty good, I will say. Um, but you know, uh, and then what that kind of makes Wichita jealous throughout the entire movie. But this movie is also pretty much like a road trip because I mean, the zombie land double tap game is called road trip. So, but this is pretty much like road trip because, um, uh, they first go to Graceland, which is kind of funny, um, because of Elvis and all that, but, you know, funny hijinks ensue, like, uh, throughout the entire movie, and I also will say, Tallahassee's character is the exact same as 10 years ago, which I do really appreciate, because usually by now, you know, they would change that, but, you know what, I'm glad that they're keeping his character at least the same, um, personally, because, I mean, it's just like, uh, he was 10 years ago, which is awesome, most of the characters in the movie are just like that, like, 10 years ago, but, you know, they go to Graceland, and, uh, they meet new people on the way, like, you know, at the Hound Dog Hotel, they meet, like, their doppelgangers, pretty much, uh, I think, uh, I forgot the ones, that, but I think, uh, but it's, like, really hilarious how, you know, like, there's, like, a, uh, Columbus, like, doppelganger, and there's a, uh, Tallahassee doppelganger, and, you know, they have, they get bitten and turned into zombies, so, you know, they have to, uh, fight them, which is, you know, that's a pretty good scene and all, but, um, and then, like, uh, also earlier, you think Madison gets turned into a zombie, and you think Columbus has to shoot her, but it turns out she just had a peanut allergy, and, you know, they find her driving down the road, uh, which that's kind of funny, but also, to be honest, it was kind of sad whenever you think he straight up had to murder her before she turned into a zombie, but, um, you know, and also there's a running gap throughout the entire movie with Tallahassee, just like in the first one with the Twinkies. He's trying to find a better car because throughout the entire movie they have to drive a minivan. But it turns out that uh, Little Rock and uh, her boyfriend Berkeley is uh, heading to Babylon, which is a, a community of survivors where it's a non-violence kind of thing, so they have no guns or anything. But yeah, you know, that's going to be bad during the zombie apocalypse. And during all this, there's a new, the zombies are uh, evolving. Uh, there's like three different, there's like three or four different classes you got a, a homer which is you know a really dumb zombie you got a hawking which you know it's kind of smart and then a, a ninja zombie which we don't really see other than the opening of the movie which i thought that would come back up and you got the t-800 which pretty much bullets will not take them down pretty much um and the only way to destroy them is you know by destroying their heads or bodies um so you know that's the main threat uh because they eventually do make it to babylon and you know they settle there but uh you know tallahassee fell in love with the one woman at the uh hound dog hotel and you know he, while he's going back uh he sees a like hundreds of t-800s heading uh towards babylon because they got like fireworks going off and you know, so he drives back, and, like, it's really awesome, like, uh, third act of the movie, you know, where there's, like, fire and flames and, uh, blowing stuff up, and there's, like, using a monster truck to crush zombies, I mean, it's really cool final act, um, and then, uh, Tallahassee, he, uh, 
he pretty much throughout the movie he's like yeah i got a, a black hawk indian blood running through me he's like yeah where they used to chase the buffalo off the cliff or whatever and you know that actually came back later where you know he jumps off the top of the building onto like a grapple line hook thing and all the zombies follow him and fall to their fate which you know it's pretty cool i was saying pretty smart but for a while there that had me really thinking tallahassee was gonna die and i was like please just do not let tallahassee die because you know he's probably my favorite character out of both movies but really glad they didn't but i would say i was actually worried for tallahassee and thought he was gonna die there so i mean pretty good writing there i will say but uh because they're talking about like uh you can't tell the tale of zombie life out talking about one brave man sacrifice or something like that and i was like are you really gonna kill off tallahassee but i'm super glad they didn't because they were kind of foreshadowing it throughout the movie but um you know everybody lives happily in the end uh in babylon i guess now on um but I will say the third act is really cool and to be honest I kind of enjoy this movie like more than the first one which I know that's kind of an unpopular opinion but um I like really enjoy this movie I think I gave the first one like a seven and a half out of uh, ten I'm probably gonna give this one a nine out of ten because I mean I really enjoy this movie and you know seeing the whole progression ten years later kind of thing is like you know really interesting and you know just the road trip vibe of this movie I really also, like also the after credit thing with uh Bill Murray and the interview Reviews for Garfield 3 Flabby Tabby is absolutely hilarious. And you know, Bill Murray's going all badass on the zombies, killing them left, right. It's absolutely hilarious. And that was just really genius. And that might be honest, like really probably is the best scene out of the entire movie. Like it's just so great the way it's done. But I don't know. I just really love that scene. And I don't know, I just really enjoy this movie a lot better. And don't get me wrong, I still love that first one. Like I ever since that first time I watched it back in October. I must have watched the first one like at least 10, 11 tw times since this as it is on Netflix. But this one I really enjoy. So like I said, a 9 out of 10. But anyway, guys, like I said, I did do a review for the original one. Link in the description down below. But anyway, guys, check out my Twitter and Discord link in the description. And also let me know what you thought about the second one down in, uh, in the comments down below. But like and subscribe for more. Check out some other videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.